2024 started off with a bang for Jenna Ortega with a release of a new movie attending the Emmy Awards and a Super Bowl ad. Here is a recap of January for Jenna Ortega. Jenna Ortega started off the year surprising all of us with an uh, ask me a question on Instagram. Of course, I took the opportunity to ask the question myself. I believe my question was how do you rate your 2023 out of 10? Unfortunately, she didn't respond to my question, but however, she did respond to a few. It's nice to see her do something like this and I'm glad that she's comfortable opening up on social media like this. The Emmy Awards took place on January 15th. Jenna Ortega turned up in a gorgeous outfit made by Dior. She truly looked like a Garden of Eden in that dress. She was nominated for lead actress in a comedy series for Wednesday. Unfortunately, she didn't win. However, We even got to see a video of Jenna getting ready for the Emmys in her amazing Dior outfit. Hi, I'm Jenna Ortega. We're here in Los Angeles and I'm getting ready to go to the Emmys. January also saw the release of Miller's Girl. We will get into the movie shortly. Don't worry, no spoilers. But first, there was the Miller's Girl premiere. I took my drugs and took my love and when I left out the spot, I left the party with the party marking X on the dot. She calls my phone up but I told her I'm a loner. But she likes my watch and my drop top and my persona. She wore a very unique white dress that got many people talking. Miller's Girl was a very complex movie to say the least. The movie is about Cairo, Jenna's character, who was given a creative writing assignment by a teacher, Mr. Miller, which yielded in complex results. The role of Cairo was certainly not an easy role to act and Jenna did an amazing job portraying the emotions of Cairo very well. January also treated us to a new Jenna Ortega Super Bowl ad for Doritos. Tina! Mita! After seeing this ad, I had to go get some Doritos myself. <coughs> Unfortunately, they don't have the Dinamita Doritos in my country, but Taco flavored Doritos is still amazing. To wrap out the month, Mr. Enrique, the legend, dropped a video of Jenna in this amazing brown outfit. She then also talked about how she got the script of Miller's Girl. I just got the script in my inbox one day and I knew that this was a highly sought after script. It had been around for a minute and um, I guess it just hadn't found the right time or, or, or group yet and as soon as I read it it was so unlike anything that I had ever read before uh, character wise but also just the the story building behind it it was just so um, beautifully done to me that I knew it was the first time in a while that I, I wanted something bad and and I wrote incess incessant amount of emails and letters and video tapes anything that I could to get a part of this project just because I, I feel like I fell in love with Cairo um, uh, in September. That just about wraps this recap. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.